Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm Dole, aka the Big D, a Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews with a special review. And this time around, I'm going to review another one of my favorite movie musicals, and that, of course, being you got it. I will point out to you, Grease from 1978. June of 78, that is. Originally released by Paramount. This film is definitely one of my most favorite m movie musicals. Uh, aside from The Wizard of Oz and others. Anyway, the film stars John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, Stocker Channing, Jeff Conway, and a host of others. Which is really cool. Anyway, it's based on the musical of the same name that takes place in the late 1950s. Travolta plays Danny Zuko, the leader of the T-Birds. And he's apparently fallen for an Australian gal named Sandy Olsen, played by Olivia Newton-John. During the summer, just getting to enjoy a fun time at the beach. As you'll know, in the move, when the movie starts, we get to hear the song Love is a May Splendor the Dang. That was pretty funny. Oh, well. Well, apparently, well, Sandy doesn't think she'll ever get to see Dang again. She just says it may not be, might not be fair, but... As she says they're going back to Australia. And then later she asks, is this the end? And they, well, tells her that their love is only the beginning. And then our opening title card start with, of course, the, song, the title song done by Frankie Valley of the Four Seasons plays for us. The soundtrack is absolutely cool. It's got some of the greatest songs, like the Tile song, as well as Grace Lightning, Hopelessly Devoted to You, Look at Me, I'm Sandra D. Let me see now. Hmm. Um, we Go Together, that's a good song. Uh, and, of course, Summer Nights. And, of course... You're the one that I want. And there's lots of other cool songs. Like I said, you'll absolutely enjoy Grease if you have yet to see it. Now, of course, that's the movie. Everything's about to go on for a big year, for a final big year. As Danny Zuko and his other companions in the T-Birds, including... Then Kinnicky, played by Jeff Conway. Duty, played by Barry Pearl. Michael Tucci as Sonny. And Kelly Ward as Putsy. Yeah. And got to hear all of what was going on. And, well, soon. And Sandy, unknown to Danny, is attending Rydell High. And, of course, that's a school. And, well, she's already become friends with Frenchie, played by Dee Dee Khan, who, of course, would later go on to be a, a big star by being on TV's Benson, also voicing a futuristic sick chick named Cupcake in the animated Happy Days spinoff, The Fonz and the Happy Days Gang, and also playing Stacey Jones on the PBS series Shining Time Station. But anyway, well, she wants to know if, if she, well, tells, ask her friends if she, what they thought about her and whether she'll ever be in the Pink Ladies. That's where Frenchie resides, along with, with Rizzo, who's, that's the leader of the Pink Ladies. The other two are Jan, played by Jamie Donnelly, and Mari, played by Diane Manoff. Who, of course, would later go on to star on TV's Empty Nez and plus appear in other movies and TV shows, most notably the original Child's Play. But anyway, <laughs> okay, well, I can tell you some other 
great cast members. It also includes Eve Arian, Dodie Goodman, Sid Caesar, Eddie Deason, uh, Susan Buckner, played Pay Simcox, really funny chick, uh, Lorenzo Lamas, Nancy Stewart, who plays Balmudo, the leader of the Scorpions' rival Greaser Gang. Oh, even Frankie Avalon, and actually, I didn't know she actually appeared in this. John Travolta's real life sister, Ellen Travolta, who, of course, was on Happy Days at, I do believe, at the time. And later, it short lived spin Joey Loves Chachi with Scott Bayo, and then she rejoined them on Charles in Charge's later seasons. Yeah. And oh, the list goes on. Let's see Alice Ghostly, Fanny Flagg, Dick Patterson. Oh, the, again, the list goes on. But anyway, once they meet each other, things go to wrong, take a turn for the worst. And, well, they try to get back. And, and when the big high school dance comes, things go smoothly, but things take a turn for the worst. But I'm not going to give the whole details away if you haven't seen the movie. But I really think you'll... Enjoy this. Again, I apologize if I sound like a broken record, but <laughs> Grease is definitely the word. And especially when Kaneki brings in this here old car that they think they can fix up, and then they ch turn into greased lining later on in the movie to go up against Balmudo and his crew. And soon... Everything takes a turn for the best. Yeah, in at the graduation carnival in the end, which is absolutely awesome. Get to hear your one now one. We go together. But anyway, I don't want to give too much of the movie's detail if you have not seen this. But I'm sure lots of y'all have seen it, so you probably know the rest of the story, okay? <laughs> Anyway, I still have a video copy of Grease. I actually got it for my 17th birthday after a few months about hearing after hearing the special mega mix of Grease containing Grease Lightning, You're the One That I Want, and Summer Nights. Anyway, that convinced me I wanted to see the movie. So one of the cheerleaders who happens to be who also happens to be one of the Juliets at, at my school actually got it for me for my 17th birthday, and I, well, once I watched it, I really loved it. I also have the soundtrack, which was originally released by RSO, and of course has now been re-released by Polydor, but it's still one of the great soundtracks ever. Anyway, the film will go on to have a direct sequel, Grease 2, from which came out four years later in 1982. I'll possibly review that sometime. I don't know yet when yet, but I will eventually. Hmm. Oh yeah, and there and a few years back there was also a, a televised special, Grease Live. Which, I can't remember the guy who played Danny. He did a pretty good job. And I know that Vanessa Hudgens, who played Rizzo in that live special, was good. All the cast was great, but I have to give credit to Julianne Huff, who played Sandy. She did just as good a job on that as Olivia Newton John did in the movie. But anyway, would I recommend you check out Grease? Hell yeah! Because this is one movie musical you don't know what you're missing. But hey, I'm sure lots of you all have seen it, but if you haven't, I would highly recommend it. But anyway, what did you think about Grease? Please feel free to let me know what you thought about in the comments section. Like and subscribe to my channel, and I want to thank you all for watching. So until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.